Greek hotel with like spa treatments and uh, lactation consultants and like your food served up to you. Preservation was like, mmm, it's an outsider. Where's your family network? Where's your friend network? And I think, I think it's actually a positive thing that they're an outsider. To. Is it smart to do it all yourself all the time? It leads to exhaustion, um, burnout, like you're questioning your own capability. So if you follow me on my channel, Hippie and Heels, you'll know that I'm in the middle of um, looking for a postpartum doula. And it just brought to my attention that we really need like um i've seen these in asia postpartum hotels so boutique kind of hotels bnbs where your postpartum care can take place and you go and you rest and you're looked after i think that'd be so much better than like the doula comes into your home but your home could be like um i don't know could it be i know you always want your own space and own home but if you have other uh, children and other siblings um they still have their routine i think pure true rest would be like to actually go into uh, one of these postpartum hotels and have it all geared up and all set up for um, postpartum care uh, like help the right food um, and then you wouldn't have that loneliness and motherhood that can lead to postpartum depression so um, you'd make connections and um, with other mothers and you'd have your privacy and you'd have your care play area for siblings so like somewhere where you check in for a couple of weeks after and um, just have that really restorative rest and then meet other mothers and have your like baby massage classes and um, yeah just to really like help the mother and have like a physio on site and all these services um, to really rest and recuperate after postpartum because not everybody's home environment is set up for that like if you have other kids and they have to go to school and like you're trying to rest and it's like the mundane day-to-day -day environment yes it's your home but I just really think we need to uh, like a healthy postpartum period really helps the child's attachment and it really helps like um, the mother feel more confident I think that's the key to prevent a lot of like uh, postpartum depression it's a theory that's my theory and um, so like and um, comment down below if you agree if you would love to see this um, yeah it'd obviously be price premium but uh, I think it would definitely like um, if you could get it subsidized somehow health insurance maybe or I don't know but I just would love to see this happen what do you guys think Is this would you rather be at home or would you rather have that dedicated care team and dedicated care space um, a nurturing home space like a spa space but yet community yet support during the night like night nurses on hand like could you imagine it'd <laughs> just be amazing um yeah let me know what you guys think let me know if this if you've seen this um i don't this isn't popular in ireland or europe that i can tell uh, that i've seen or i've come across so let me know if it is and maybe i've missed something um okay i've been looking into doulas and this whole concept of postpartum care I have lots of like business ideas around this as well I'm like my mind has gone really creative but in um, like when I studied uh, feminine energy in the past just through YouTube and certain um, Instagram accounts just really trying to soak that in and um, I kind of got into it via dating but once you open that chapter it's like something you can't unsee and um, the reason I'm bringing up femininity is that one of the main concepts in femininity or embracing feminine energy in your life, especially as a woman, it helps you live like more authentically, in tune with your life, has lots of benefits. And I've spoken about that in previous videos as well. So check them out if you're also getting into that topic. The reason um, I was bringing that up is that one of the main concepts and teachings is um, receiving, being able to receive. That feminine energy is about, um, when you use it with like manifestation and law of attraction, it's about uh, letting go and being able to have faith and trust. But um, on a practical level, I've really seen that if you embrace feminine energy, you let go of this old concept or I know I have of like, oh, you can do it all yourself. Um, like you don't always have to, is it smart to do it all yourself all the time? It leads to exhaustion, um, 
burnout, like you're questioning your own capability, of course you're capable, like you're <laughs> a woman, we're so strong, we bring birth into this, we birth life, of course we're really strong and capable, um, I do have to remind myself of that sometimes, so what I'm trying to say is you have to be able to receive, because it's actually working uh, smarter, not harder, so I have to like, I have to keep reminding myself of this to live in a more authentic way, to live with more feminine energies about receiving help and one of the main areas where you really can do with a lot of help, whether it's from family and friends or um, is postpartum and I think um, I spoke about like a labour video, I had a labour and delivery video because I do uh, think a good birth experience with no trauma makes your postpartum a lot easier, that's like one of the first steps but postpartum itself, especially with first time mom, can be such a big adjustment and I heard this great term which was such an eye opener for me. I never heard this term before, but they're basically, um, I'll have to try to find it for you guys, but it was like, how they say adolescence. Uh, there's a same term for like, entering into motherhood. So would you be angry at a teenager that takes a couple of years to like, adolescence, adults, they're becoming an adult. There's a whole process to that, yet we expect women to just know how to look after children and switch it on overnight. I think it's great if you've grown up around kids and you have a bit of experience that way, but it still doesn't fully prepare you, I think, for like motherhood. I spoke about that in other videos as well, that like becoming a mother is such a um, journey. So I'm so happy that I found that term. It was just a coined it perfectly. Um, what was it called? Mother lessons or something like that, like adolescence becoming much so of the whole process. So allowing yourself time and help to so the feminine energy is receiving help and that's where to embrace this concept of doula. Um it's just very strange. Like doula's like a postpartum helper. They're not medical, they're not medically trained, they're not midwife. A midwife is medically trained trying to say is that doula what I'm finding out I never had a doula as such before so I'm trying to embrace the idea of would I get a doula what's it all about is it beneficial my first reservation was like mmm it's an outsider where's your family network where's your friend network and I think I think it's actually a positive thing that they're an outsider. They say it takes a village to raise a child, but um, I think people have busy lives and um, unfortunately in a lot of families it's like a two income household just to make ends meet. And there's a lot of pressure on people nowadays, so I don't think there's as much. People tend to move away or live in different areas. I don't think it's the same, like, village feel. And um, What's it like in your area? Is that true? Is that maybe just my perspective is a bit clouded? Or is everybody experiencing this? Is this a modern woman type thing, a modern Western woman? type uh, concept or is it um, cultural? Does it depend on where exactly you live? Do you guys think it could be a generational thing? Maybe other generations were better at um, attending to their women postpartum or is it just what that society values? Do we value women? Do we value that postpartum period? It's the science. Is there enough science there to show like um the effects on like not just the woman but also the development of the child or in a lot of cases has this always been in place in your culture and we've just lost our way a little bit here or am i observing things 
maybe a bit too biased um let me know down below in the comments i'd appreciate some feedback i'd love to start like a bit of a topic on this um if you can follow my rambling thoughts so yeah if you're also looking into a doula or considering it i'll take you along on the journey and we can figure out some information about them together so what i've gathered so far is like they can, they can do care packages um, to either come they can be like a blood doula and support you during the labor process and they might need you before for a session or two to talk about your birth birth preferences make a birth plan with you they can even come to the hospital with you or a home birth and um then there's like postpartum doulas that help you with like cooking and housework and looking after siblings and other kids um, and even looking after you they don't give you medical advice they're more there for emotional support and if you had a very intense um, or say some kind of emergency during labor or any kind of trauma you perceive trauma like you could uh, decompress and talk to them about that because they would have a lot of experience so I think they're very useful Um, it would be like an outsider in your home would you be kind of um, feeling like you have to like keep the place clean for the visitor as such or are you able to sit back and accept the help and really embrace um, somebody coming into your home like an outsider coming in um, I think it all depends so I'm trying to look at a couple of doula I'd be so interested please give me your feedback if you've actually had a doula and what your experience was and whether you would do it again and whether you would recommend it to friends um, I'd love to find out a little bit about the history of doulas has this always been the case um, and just recently we've actually coined the term doula and so there's just so much on this topic to discover um, let me know what you guys think 